I'm going to take you on a little walkthrough of Dashlane. What you'll need to do first is download Dashlane from their website. Once you've downloaded, it will ask you to log in with your email and to create a password. Once you create that password, log in with that password by entering the email address that you registered with and the password. Dashlane will then walk you through the next steps. These steps will also explain to you that Dashlane types them automatically for you, meaning the passwords that you need to use to log into websites and other accounts. Dashlane uses an AES-256 encryption to make sure that all of your data is safe. Many of you might be using 1Password for your password management. Dashlane allows you to import that information. We're going to skip that for now. When you get into the main screen of Dashlane, it actually comes up with this screen. There is a getting started section which will walk you through steps of setting up your Dashlane. On the left, there is a password manager where you can always go and add new passwords. For example, if you had a Gmail account, you could type in gmail.com and then add in the, the login, random at gmail.com, and we'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, that is not my password, but this is an, is an example. Once you enter that information, it will give you a screen that will allow you to add more information. You can actually name this whatever you want. We're going to say random Gmail account. Then we can categorize it and you can do this to whatever you want to do. We'll say tech and you can add a note. This is not a real account. Once you've done that, you can press OK. And now you see that the information is saved there and it allows you to hold that information here. Also, we have a security dashboard. This will go through and it will actually tell you how secure your passwords are. Notice how that 123456 password is weak. It will actually tell us. We can replace a password with a stronger password by just clicking on replace now and it will actually ask us to log in and then change that password. The other thing we can do here is store secure notes. So we can actually add a note to whatever we want and I can say, okay, this is a legal document and we can then go ahead and fill out this information. This is a great place to store information that may, may not fit in in a login or a password scenario. Now we have the wallet section on the left. We can go in here and put in personal info. We can put in our email address. We can put in our phone number. We can add a, an actual address. This information is what Dashlane pulls from to type in and autofill our information on the websites. We can also add payments. By adding new, we can add credit, debit cards, PayPal accounts, or a bank account. This is a great way to store all of that information in one place. Again, keeping in mind that this is a secure location for all of our information. You can also store your IDs, passport, driver's license, uh, social security card and tax numbers, or an ID card, all for ease of access. Receipts stores receipts from shopping online and allows you to keep them in one place. Now, down here on the left in the contact section, there is a sharing center. This allows you to share information with certain family members or coworkers that you have predetermined. Also, there is an emergency section. If you are unable to get into Dashlane because of an emergency or a medical situation, you can allow access to certain people. Now, as we go down to the bottom, it says sync off, turn on now. Once you go into there, you see the pricing for the premium features. This will allow you to access all premium features of Dashlane. Notice how we are in a 29 day trial of premium. That will actually expire in 29 days and then we will then have to register for the five year, three year or one year plan. Hopefully that helps you understand what Dashlane is 
and how it could be of benefit for you. If you have any questions or need help with anything, please reach out to me through my website, techlifecoach.com, and use the contact form there. Thank you for watching.